Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Armageddon's Blade. The first of two expansions launched in 1999 for the legendary turn-based strategy series. Don Hayes is the name and Heroes of Might and Magic 3 is the game. Travelling from Arathia to my homeland of Titalia, I have passed through several towns. I have yet to encounter a living soul. There is only the lingering stench of the undead. I fear a necromancer in the area is raising an army. Who is unknown? Why is unknown? Already campaign five, playing with fire. Adrienne, the fire witch, discovers a death knight is turning the local population into a harvesting ground for undead. Restore to the land and hunt down this evil. Utter extermination of the undead plague is your ultimate goal. Scenario one, farming towns. Establish a home base and then liberate the other towns on either side of the border. Destroy all of the undead in the area and defeat the necromancers who are doing this. Adrian and three of your best heroes are restricted to 12th level, but they will transfer to the next scenario. Going with this, plus one attack and defense. Let's do this. You enter into this region not too far from the Tatalian border, glad to be almost home. The time spent in Stedwick studying with the clerics was useful and productive, but it was too long away from the swamps you love and call home. The Fire Witch, as you are called, cannot bear to be away from her lands, but is not readily welcome there either, for the people of Tatalia fear fire magic and shun all who use it. Knowing the power it holds and wanting to wield it, you gave up a life of acceptance for your power. Okay. Cool. Alright. Playing us some fortress boys. Within the ranks of these creatures, you see the faint forms of once living peasantry. Their tortured souls unable to escape this hell and enter into the afterlife. With grim determination, you begin to free their souls the only way you know how. Need to take these fights, can't be losing that much that quickly. Wow. Beautiful. The bushes rustle and you prepare for an attack. Even in Arathia there are beasts to be wary of. If it's not beasts, but peasants. Blood is caked and dried on their faces and wraith-like bodies. Terror grips these peasants and holds them captive, barely able to stutter out the horrors they were witness to. Finally, after a bit of water and some coaxing, one of them tells the tale in a near senseless jumble of words. I, I, I was farming and my wife was out picking berries with the children. He closes his eyes to squeeze out the images and breathes deeply. Th th then we were beset upon the by a wailing none of us had ever heard before. Frozen in terror, I, I watched as these ghastly things flew towards my wife and children. He sobs, unable to speak for a moment. Then I... I ran and ran and ran, never looked back. Mortimer found me two days later, but he's dead now. Or at least sort of. He he walks, but does not see or hear that we are his friends. He killed his own son. The man finally breaks down completely and sobs like a child. This was worse, much worse. Reports from the other confirm your worst fears. Someone is slaughtering the peasantry to make an undead army.
Beautiful. I think I might just tweak the uh, sound down a smidge, actually. Right, let's go match level one. Oh, they need tavern first, don't we? Okay, let's pick up Stig. And then use, use the army. Magic for sure. Now it is time to speak to the Tartalian leaders, for there is a new menace that plagues Arathia. This power behind this menace is yet unknown, but you suspect it is greater than the leaders of Arathia have guessed. Tartalia needs to be warned to support Arathia if it falls. Pushing aside the thoughts of yet another war, you look forward to simply going home. Slow, not bad. Quickly, messengers are sent out to the Tertullian leaders and to an Arathian lord to the east. The first reads, Arathia has been attacked by strange new enemies. They are extremely powerful. We should prepare in case Arathia cannot hold the tide. Um, 60, that's going to kill three. Almost like they knew that was risky. <laughs> wow. Nah, nah, nah. Hopefully, you'll group up like that. Woof. Sometimes the enemy just groups up <laughs> and you can just use an Inferno. I mean, Inferno is one of those battles, right? It's not that powerful. It's kind of okay, but it does have a big area of effect. Before you send off the message to the Arathian government, you give it one last look through. My name is Adrienne, Witch of Tatalia. I am aware we recently were at war, but now is a time for our lands to work together. Recently, on a journey home from Stedwick, I cross paths with a group of peasants from Brasselton. My men have confirmed news of undead overrunning the land. Arathia is under attack by these vile creatures. I am the only one who has answered their pleas. I do know of the troubles you are having with this new menace, but any help would be appreciated. Satisfied the message conveys the urgency of the situation, you send it off, hoping the Arathians will take seriously a request for help from a Tatalian. Praying for good fortune, you turn to the more immediate matters. Your most trusted friend and advisor, Boltron, enters your tent. Edrian, there is no way Arathia is going to assist us, and yet you attempt to beg help from them. They are still upset at the war, and are probably under attack. Why do you bother? Well, I must try. A small quirky smile brushes past your face. This way, I have covered all my bases. If we fail, then no one can say I should have asked for help. What if they do not refuse? It is a possibility I cannot pass up. You are no warrior. I need troops and other warriors or spellcasters. I do value your assistance, but we simply need more help. This is not going to be an easy battle when you know it. A frown settles back to its accustomed place. I feel like intelligence would be good. 
Oh yeah, we need to grab our mana points back. Now oh, that's the one thing we don't need. Let's go off the road for a sec. Power liches, oof. That is not an easy fight. Another base. Should grab that ASAP Rocky. That one actually looks like it might provide some troops. Potentially. Reach bow from now. Okay, so magic arrow then against her. Beautiful. Nice and effective. Let's get match level one. No, oh, I didn't still didn't get haste. That's unfortunate. Let's get level two. Yikes. Oh, that was bad. That was real bad. Um Ski up here. Resource silo probably is worth grabbing actually at this point. Ooh, that's a good spell. A pack of power liches, that is not a good fight. Oof, Vampire Lord's also not great. Truth be told. Oh my god, yes, please, and thank you. never used Inferno this much in all my uh, years of playing uh, Heroes. <laughs>
Well, I'll give it this. It is an effective tool at the moment. And a resource silo. Wow. Rude. Your skills are pathetic. When you have attained an attack skill ten times that of a novice, return to me. Only then will you be worthy of learning the true tactics of a great warrior. Well. Ooh, Equestrian's Gloves, definitely want them. But that's on their side, so... I suspect the enemy will end up with that, which is not good. Uh, it's got a castle. I need a capital ASAP Rocky. Oh, I don't even have a tavern. Uh, hurdle lots, lots, pack seven. Uh, still probably more than I can deal with right now, unfortunately. Wow, that's even more. At least they're neutral, I suppose. Stumbling onto your path is a young girl. Her dress is torn and tattered, and she is half starved. Bringing her food and water, she wolfs down the offering. Her story is a brave one, as she counted the numbers in the garrison while hiding from the scouting parties for several days. Last count, there were five men on large black horses. Ten had glowing staffs, and there are twenty of the bloodsuckers. There were thirty-five women in rags with glowing eyes and could float, Fifty of the slow-moving, rotting corpses shuffled around, with one hundred of the skeletons in broken bits of armour. Once done telling her story, she begins to sob uncontrollably. Relieved to be out of harm's way, and away from horrors a child should never witness. Wow. Someone give that young girl a medal, because that is a better report than most of my scouts could muster. <laughs> of the group you sent to Natalia, only one returns. He confirms your worst fears. The infection of undead is spread across the border and into Tatalia. There will be no way to get word to the leaders anytime soon. You must deal with this problem without help from your beloved homeland. I think we should grab three. Oh, yes. Okay, that's a good start. <laughs> I don't care about the other spells. That one is a good one. For this particular campaign. Happy days. It's a small victory in the grand scheme, but trust me, that is a good spell. Damage is a little bit weak though, that's the only downside. But it does affect all undead, so... It's a very slow start to this mission.
Trouble is, I don't want to keep losing troops unnecessarily. Like, this is already going to be a difficult mission. Oh, that was a silly mistake. Oops. Still, I think I'd rather lose two um, pikemen than one serpent fire, since I can't really upgrade or oh, can't really top them off at the moment. Dark blue key mass of the tent. Get four grand, so you might as well grab this. Let's put it down another turn, actually. Hmm. Well, I need my capital, so. Once we finish our capital, the uh, the real building work can begin. She will stop losing them. <laughs> Serpent flies in all these fights. I know they're not the greatest units, and it's kind of like I could be like, meh, but they are useful. But they're kind of like at that very small number where they're like any less, and they be kind of become a little bit useless, unfortunately. Which is why I kind of need to keep them alive for the most part. A messenger returns from the knight's castle. He does not carry the official word, but the news is not good. The knight sent a message to you saying, There will be no aid from Arathia. We have been attacked by hideous beasts wielding powerful weaponry. All of our knights and clerics have been called to defend Arathia from these demonic beasts. Good luck. His words are honest, but do not bode well for your cause. At least there are some Arathians you can recruit to the cause. Ooh, logistics, yes, please. Hey, okay, I'm hoping you get haste in this one. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh. 
Пока. Right, okay, now we should be starting to get a bit of an income. Oof, it's taken a little while to get that kind of uh, income coming in, but wow, finally there. Match level four. Nah. Not quite what I would have wanted, but it's okay. Earth magic for sure. Flux hero, eh? Seven G's, okay. When you start building forts, now I've actually got an income coming in. I think we can get over that border gate now. We need to rearrange some of these troops actually. Take some vampire lords. M might hit three. Yeah, nice. Beautiful. One health for all units, lovely jubbly. There's the archers there. Finally, after several days, the messengers return with an official response. We regretfully inform you of our inability to assist in this matter. Due to new and formidable menace, we are unable to spare a single knight or cleric. Since the disturbance takes place on the Arathian tatalian border, we would be grateful if you and your people were able to remove this nuisance. There is, however, one knight whom you may be able to recruit. He is being ransomed by a group calling themselves the Night Stalkers. If you free him and show this letter, he will offer the aid you need. Barely containing the burning fury welling up within, you crumple the letter and stuff it into your pocket. Abruptly, you shout orders to break camp, not saying a word about the bad news. Your instincts tell you this is more than a mere nuisance, but fools never listen. Do have a nice big army in here though, waiting for us when we do finally come round. My dearest young witch, you know this is going to be an I told you session. I did warn you against begging for aid from Arathia. Even the Tatalians are unreachable. I am truly surprised they even took the time to write what they did. You cut him off angrily. Quiet! I am the one who makes the decisions around here. Don't give me that I told you so crap. I am well aware what the response was going to be. 
Now I have covered my bases and we can get on with the business of burning the plague of undead from the land. Unconsciously, your hands have clenched and power had begun to slither out and curl around you like a snake ready to strike. Seeing the terror in his eyes, you stalk out and curse him for getting you so angry. <laughs> oh, angels. Now that would be a good little boon. I don't have enough movement, do I? Never mind. What if we pull these away? So we're only going to get attacked. This is Griffin, so. Ugh. Lose all this. Let's see how this plays out. No chance. Oh, it's the big one. Okay. does more damage anyway, okay. Well, that's a lot of griffins. Okay, we'll come back to that one then. I really need to send my army back, to be honest. Now at this point, let's just crack on. On the rock face written in blood is the message. Unless you are type A positive, B negative, or A B positive, we are not interested in having you for lunch. Everyone else should just leave us alone. But those who are the right type may take a nap in our crystal mine. <laughs> well, okay then. No. I 
definitely need to go back to base. I need to get myself a massive army. Last night you came across lots of piles of rotting flesh. Even though they did not move, you were confident it was a trap. Rather than risking another confrontation, you loosed the full force of your fire magic, cleansing the area of rotting bodies. At first, the men were horrified at the show of fiery magic. Recoiling from your destruction of what obviously had become zombies, they stood far from you. All night, your own men, fearful of your fire magic, shunned you. In the morning, black smoke plumed into the sky. Rushing to see why the forest was burning, you saw the most amazing sight. The men were grimly surrounding a pyre. There, the bodies of the dead were being burned. Apparently, they had come to terms with fire and realised its value here. If the bodies were not utterly destroyed, then they would soon join the ranks of the undead. It was best this way. Let's start getting some mage guilds. It's time to fire on all cylinders now, which is good. stables as well whilst we're here. Interesting you can't build um, cavaliers, that seems like an odd choice. Alright, so I've been told that if you control click it maxes, but it doesn't. Huh. Hmm, interesting. Portrait in the far left. Oh, control click that. Okay, I've got a shout out here to make because there's a gentleman in the chat called Engelbrecht Treble Zero who has told me that let right control left clicking. Um, adds everything to your uh, like ma purchases in the maximum amount and it works that is amazing I never knew that I think that's a HD plus mod thing but that is a game changer now I know you can do that wow thank you for the comment dude really appreciate it shout outs to you that was that's a game changer so you can just control click oh my god <laughs> Oh, that is a game changer, lads. An absolute game changer. This is going to save so much time. Except I've got no money. We ain't got no money. <clears throat> that is incredible. I'm actually really glad that is a thing. <laughs> Okay, level four we get Meteor Shower, Water Walk, no, no Town Portal yet, I'm afraid, boys. Oh, the damn it, we're too late. We should have gone there earlier. And then with this army, we should be able to just go now, but still. All right, I definitely want the Marksmen, they're the most important units here. I'm going to upgrade these guys. Guess we'll upgrade them as well. Wait one turn, recharge the batteries. And I think we'll start going for the enemy. Boltron rushes into your tent, waking you from a near dead sleep. Adrienne, there is trouble with the men, come quick. 
Throwing on clothes, you stumble sleepy-eyed into the camp and straight into a free-for-all. Tatalians and Arathians are brawling. A huge fistfight has engulfed the camp. Stop this now! Your strong voice carries, but none listen. Vainly, you shout again and know he will only give you a sore throat. From deep within, you call the anger needed to release the power of fire. Unleashing flames high into the night sky, men quickly scramble for cover. Letting your temper cool, each man warily keeps their distance as you stalk through the camp, looking for the instigators. It is easy to find them. Two hot-headed cavaliers were disciplined twice already for inciting the mighty Gorgons within the ranks by trying to ride them. Now one of the troublemakers lies dead, having discovered why most don't lock eyes with a mighty Gorgon. Staring coldly at the remaining cavalier, you wordlessly snag the fool in one hand. Between gritted teeth you manage to speak these words. There will be no more fighting! The camp jumps as you punctuate the last word with a small burst of fire from your free hand. The cavalier will need to change his shorts. Dropping him, you stalk back towards your tent. Boltron takes over, scolding them further and arranging for healing of the wounded and burial of the dead. Oh, that is such a game changer, folks. Right, we need to make our way over here. We should probably pick up this as well whilst we're here. So these guys are going to have to make an army, so I'm going to use Stig as my second hero. Dracon can just chill. Absolutely no money. That's a pretty good trade, I'll take that. None of those are good. Um, okay. Start raiding the boys. Logistics, nice. Okay, so we're already max level now, so let's grab another army. Let's head towards ending this mission. Does Dig have a spell book? Yes, he does. Wonderful. It has been a long and tiring day. Travelling through familiar territory that has been turned into a pile of rotting corpses takes its toll on everyone. Sighing heavily, you retire to your simple tent to find a few hours sleep. Noticing the flap is open, you cautiously enter, wondering if undead understand the notion of assassins. If they do, you are not going to find the answers today. Dozens of flowers litter the inside of the tent, their sweet perfume a heavenly scent. You breathe deeply and realise this is not something soldiers or Boltron would do. Giggling from just outside the door lets you know exactly who is responsible for such a gesture. Children recently rescued are watching you enjoy the simple pleasure of flowers amidst the horrors of war. You toss them a smile and shoo them off to bed. For that night at least, you sleep well and dream only of your childhood. This is the one we haven't built magic guilds in yet, isn't it? What mod has he got? Basic, okay. So we can go up to three at least. Yeah. So so.
Wow, that's a really good trade. For not spending any mana either. Impressive. Which one is at this point resources aren't really a problem. Sighting of the leader occurred some days ago. It is a death knight on a great black charger. Loyal followers obey his every wish and command. He has moved deeper into Tatalia, and you know this does not bode well for your homeland. Time is of the essence. You must eradicate this menace. Is good, but it's not. <sighs> it's all right. It's just not what I want. We are glad to have you join our forces. Please come on in. Welcome. Okay, that's random. Oh, got finally got haste. Now my army's big enough, we can start taking these fights now. Magic skills are pretty much the only reason I'm uh, messing around with this lot. I'm pretty sure we'll have an army big enough to take on this mission now. Oh yeah, easily. Oh hello. This strange death knight seems more powerful than the others. Not knowing who he is and why he does not seem upset by your presence is worrisome. Knowing that it could seriously harm you to not know this enemy, you send out scouts to Tatalia and Arathia to see what they can find out. Town portal, unfortunate. And this can only go up to three, is that right? Yeah, unfortunate. Earthquake, yeah, not too bad. It's not really worth going for, I don't think. Well, if we're going to run away, I'm just going to do that. Damn, it actually does quite a lot, doesn't it? Good spell, destroy undead. Now that's Nagash. So that's their main guy. Big fight, boys. Big fight for this mission. Okay. Oof.
Definitely gonna be an expensive fight, that's for sure. But better than better than it what better than what it would have been originally. <laughs> Really isn't a great army. Uh, all right, let's go grab this. Oh, that probably is worth visiting. Oh, pathfinding is what I really need. Yikes! Yeah, we should send him over. Better idea. Go ahead, grab this. Oh, son of a gun. Really? Damn. <laughs> oh, he's blocked both paths. Unbelievable. I was just going to see if there was pathfinding. An answer has come back from Tatalia. They do not know who this Death Knight is. They are having problems of their own and leave you to take care of the few necromancers seen in the valley. Since at least half of the land affected belongs to Arathia, you know Tatalia will do little to aid you. Yeah, by little you mean nothing. Not a ting. Actively fighting me? Okay. Not. Much better. Oh, there's a two-way portal. That's how they're getting there. Interesting. Okay. It's just the one location. Good to know. Oh. Wow, that's a... That's a huge army. This guy again as well. Oof. to get a second army. Christ. 
Quite what I was hoping for. Oh. No, it really wasn't what I was hoping for. Okay. Well, this is going to be a toughie, isn't it? Range of each other, no way. Hmm, I have got nothing that's going to help me here, I don't think. ourselves in the situation, didn't we, boys? Farming towns. Let's go back a few turns, I guess. I don't think that's going to help. Okay, let's go back to this one. I need to build myself a second army and get over ASAP Rocky, boys. I was not expecting to have such a large army so quickly after smashing the main one, you know? Now we shouldn't have a repeat. Oh, I just realised I'm not going to use in that, which I should have been. I'm still going straight for the attack. Tell you what, Berserk is a good spell. Credit where credit's due, especially like the mass Berserk version. Let's 
Going infinitely better than last time. Oh, what am I doing? We definitely need to slow this guy down. Actually, yeah, it'd be good to get rid of Nagash properly. There we go. It's a good one, but we've already got it, so... We should also do some scouting, just pick a couple of paths and see what takes me where. Ooh, ouch. A messenger comes in from Arathia. They need money to run a war. Busy with their own problems, they have neglected to realise that there are problems on the border. The messenger says if he does not return with a tithe due from this area, then he will have to tell the Arathian military there is a Tertullian witch running the territories here. And that could be very bad for you. Grinding your teeth at having to be political, you fork over the tithe. It's a big old tithe. Use this one. Oh, okay, she's got nothing. Let's see us up there as well. Wow, why would I lose 13 spells, I should imagine? Oh, I used all my spell points. Luckily, just enough to cast Magic Arrow. Woof. Okay, let's find out what's around the back here. Oh, oh well, that was short-lived. <laughs> I will glad you teach you the chain lightning spell. Okay, well, I will, but we'll do that with an actual hero I want to use. That's a big old army. The key master may have said you can pass, but you forgot to ask permission. Permission denied. Sword of Hellfire, eh? And Sword of the Damned. What is this, Armageddon's Blade all over again? <laughs> so can you actually not... get through here then? Doesn't look like it.
So this was a bit of a red herring, a bit of a waste of time really, as far as I can see. Scouts have been tracking the Death Knight and have finally returned with word of who he is. Those Death Knights and Necromancers seen here used to be living members of a cult that served Lord Hart. From Arathia it has been confirmed Lord Hart was raised from the dead. He then raised the dead members of his cult who now serve him with utter loyalty. He is a force of death moving through a land of great life. Ahead of you lies unguarded treasure, rushing forward to claim the much needed supplies. Troops did not see the eyes peering out of the underbrush. When all of the men are in place, the trap is sprung. Well. So I won't find out what's in there then. Oh, chasing enemy heroes is so annoying. <laughs> I really need pathfinding so badly. Weird at all. Get you a nice big army. We'll teleport, that's a good spell. deal with these upstarts. Let's 
So you want to swap those two around since they keep getting targeted by the dragonflies. Oh, nice. That's all the way down there. Thanks. Actively coming out to fight me, huh? Well then. God, that is such a time saver. That is intense. I love that. That is such a good little trick. That might be one of the best tricks I've seen in this game recently. <laughs> like, it's just such a huge, huge time save. Woof. Done. Completed it, mate. It's incredible. I love it. <laughs> Nothing more to say, it's just that good. Let's get this. Spells we got. Teleport and earthquake. Okay. Sure. Right now we just need to kill the remaining enemies and we're golden. fighting me, huh? Oh, there's the prison. Where's the mighty boy going? Oh, he's got nothing. Oh, shh. It's close. Oh, no, I've got stuff in here. Nothing in here though.
Look what we have here, boys. A ragtag bunch of people who want to become our dinner. Mmm, mmm. Good. Finger licking good, that is. Dig in, boys. Soup's on. <laughs> Hey, look, lunch. Dinner is served. Okay, this looks doable. Ooh. 85 damage, that's a lot of damage. They can only cast it one more time though. Yeah, I think we got this. And then you destroy the drawbridge, which I highly doubt. Happy days, boys. GG's. Lovely jabbly. Blue has been vanquished and victory is yours. Alright.